Wonderful. So, so we are going to start this uh, six talent meetup uh, in order to, to see how to hire the best university talent. And we are going to start with an introduction with Antonio Sanchez Pozo and myself. Then we will see the presentation from Medina Foundation, then the Sina Genomics, Clover Biotech, and we will do a concluding remarks after all. So I just to want to mention that uh, PTS Granada is a ecosystem uh, for some of, um, of you that don't know that have entrepreneurs, they have corporate, risk capital, government and university, everything together to connect innovation capacity, entrepreneurial capacity. And we work uh, in this framework in, in European projects that is called InnoCore. Uh, that they is, is offering a curriculum that combines training in advanced core technologies in life science with entrepreneurial education. And it's exactly what we want to do here at PTS Granada. It's the from the innovation, enabling environment of core facility in academia, whose project-based collaboration with industry through blended education and share of practice, share of practice uh, for innovation. And we want to have international partnership and we have some of the partner also here. So uh, we already launched the, um, a challenge last uh, 21st of October that you can see in the website. And yes, I just wanted to mention that, that these uh, meetups are in this framework of this European project. And uh, saying that, uh, I'm going to, to give the floor to, um, Olga that is going to present the wonderful foundation Medina. Thank you so much, Olga, for being with us today. Thank you so much, uh, Luces. I think uh, you you need to stop. I, I will share my screen, so probably you can. Let me see here. Okay, great. Perfect. Thank you. Mm. Okay, I hope you can you can see my screen. Yeah. Yes, we see yeah. the screen. Yeah, I will try to put it on presentation mode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. And then it's okay. Okay. Sure. Yes, perfect. Yes, <laughs> no, not too slight. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Lourdes. Yes, uh, well, of course, this is the introductory slide in terms of the general description of Medina, and I will go quickly through the, the different activities that we, we perform. Uh, in this general description, as you can see, we are, we are working on, on natural product of discovery and, and research in, in natural products, including high throughput screening and also metabolomic and discovery of, of biomarkers. And aligned with this presentation, we would like to, to present uh, the different programs that we are offering for, for master students uh, aligned with the bio, bio enterprise master program where we collaborate in the in the different departments so this is more focused on symbio microbiology uh, cancer drug discovery and, and natural products but i would like to start with the, with the presentation of, of medina for those who are not familiar with the center as i was mentioning we are a reference center on natural product discovery we were we are were established in 2008 when we arrived uh, in granada from the former msd research labs in in spain in, in madrid and this was established with the, with the focus of continuing to, to maintain our activities in drug discovery from uh, these research programs in human health infectious diseases and cancer and, and neurodegeneration, just to continue to identify molecules in these, in these fields. So as we are working with uh, microbial natural products, we, we have one of the largest microbial collections and of the same time uh, natural product libraries that we are using in our, in our platforms. As a high capacity center for, for high throughput screening, we are also partner of one of the recent European research infrastructures, which is European Open Screen, that is aligning different research centers in Europe uh, in, in drug discovery and medicinal chemistry just to advance the efforts in, in drug discovery. And uh, on top of that, we are, we are developing collaborations and contact research with companies and small biotechs in, in pharma sector, in, in the agrovec and also in cosmetics and on many other uh, micro, micro biotechnology related uh, activities. So uh, as natural products is, is the core of our activity, just to, to remark that they, are, they have been and continue to be uh, pivotal in, in uh, natural product uh, drug discovery. They, they represent a, a very unique chemical space, 
uh, the, the potency and selectivity has been derived from extended evolution selection. So this is why these are unique molecules that are targeting it, uh, in, the, in the cells to, to, different, to different mechanisms. And also there are very outstanding scaffold starting points for, for new drug candidate development. So as, uh, as they are used as excellent templates and tools for the synthesis of novel molecules, uh, just to, to use them as the starting for, for different type of chemical, chemical programs. Today, there is a very, very strong renovated interest in, in natural products. And as they are just inspiring for, for novel, novel, novel chemistry, and uh, we know there is a huge amount of underexplored microbial sources with the potential to, to, be, to be explored and to be uh, used uh, as the origin for one of our classes of compounds. And this is where we are focusing mostly. Uh, together, well, this is not going, just to give you a snapshot of uh, what is the concept of, of the natural product libraries that we are using. Of course, there is a large number in terms of the culture collection coming from uh, sites all over the world, not only terrestrial, marine samples. And at the end, we have been selecting the, the, the strains to remain in our collections on criteria based on diversity, ecosystems, and, and taxonomy. And they are just being preserved in, in our pieces are ready to be used anytime just to, to scale up the fermentations and produce uh, the, the metabolites that we are interested. So these, uh, this chemical and biological diversity is guaranteed by the diversity of the, of the strain themselves and the conditions that we have been used uh, to prepare these, these natural product libraries, which are in, in, in plates, in formats, just ready to be used in the, in the high throughput screening platforms that we have in the, in the center. So the, the activities in drug discovery uh, are being performed uh, just using these unique technology platforms and capacities that we have, uh, where we are integrating a very multidisciplinary team uh, involving activities in, in cell biology and, and, and molecular biology in the, in the screening labs, in chemistry, microbiology, and also analytics. So this is also including not only the high throughput screening platforms with a broad portfolio of assays, and complementing these activities, all the chemistry, not only for the generation of the libraries, but later on to the convolute and identify, isolate, and elucidate the structure of the new molecules that are being produced by, by the strains. In, the, in terms of the microbiology, we are just continue to expand this, this diversity and maintaining these culture collections. But at the same time, we are just supporting the, the production of the new metabolites. We are reproducing and scaling up, optimizing the, the conditions. And more importantly, we are just going deeper into the genomes, identifying the, all the biosynthetic pathways involved in the biosynthesis of these molecules and helping us just to engineer the, the producing strains and improving the, the conditions. Uh, we are very strong in analytics in a sense because uh, compare mass spectrometry and NMR are at the core of our activities and supporting us just to identify the molecules all over the process. And uh, later on, we also have uh, capacities in the preclinical space just to assess potential liabilities, uh, cytotoxicities, and, and safety issues of the new compounds that we have uh, identified in the, in the process. So all of this is being just uh, done following a very traditional process in the sense that we are starting from our libraries of, of, of extracts, of fractions, collections, or other type of, of, uh, of uh, libraries. We are going through the high throughput screening to identify the hits, identify known compounds to stop working on molecules that are already known, and later on engage into a bioacid guide isolation to identify uh, the, the molecule once purified and elucidate the structure by NMR and copper to, to mass spectrometry to, to get a, a potential novel molecule that would be developed and uh, into, into further, further steps. So just to, to do that, uh, we are internally performing a series of, uh, of uh, different programs. Uh, as I was mentioning, we are working in infectious diseases, just focusing on new antibiotics, antifungals, antivirals. We are also very active in neglected tropical diseases with a lot of collaborations, so national and international, in malaria, leishmaniosis, Chagas disease. We are also targeting to use our natural products against cancers, especially with pseudotumors. And of course, we also have been collaborating to identify molecules that can have an effect in, in neurodegeneration and some rare diseases associated with neuro, neurodegenerative processes. So all of this is, is part of the core activity that we are developing in the, in the center. 
uh, in collaboration with academics, in collaboration with uh, uh, industry. And uh, uh, part of these activities that we are just showing as part of the, of the master uh, that we are, we are teaching, they are divided in several modules and uh, just corresponded to the different departments that we have in the, in the center. So at the core of the natural product microbiology activities, as I was mentioning, one of major interests just to continue to exploit and identify novel strains that with the capacity to produce novel compounds. And in this sense, we are continuing to mine the environment using many different types of approaches and, and just identify unique niches. We are still just exploiting a lot our huge collection. That's probably one of the unique uh, large collection uh, uh, from, from microbial and microbial strains in, in, in Europe. And also of one major interest later on is once we are cultivating the strain just to manage to get and on top the silent biosynthetic virus that we are known that once we are in laboratory conditions, most of the, of the biosynthetic gene clusters are not being expressed. So this is a challenge just to go deeper, to understand how these molecules are being produced and then to, to try to improve the, the conditions. So aligned with all these activities, we are proposing uh, to, to our uh, students uh, in, in the master and in this model, uh, just a review of, of, uh, of, the, of the activities developed in terms of uh, the isolation methods for bacteria and fungi, uh, some uh, introductory to the taxonomy and the different uh, criteria and tools that are being used to, uh, to classify these strains. Uh, we are also going deeper into how to, to learn about, uh, identify all the natural products by synthetic pathways and how these molecules are being built by the, by the bacteria and the fungi go deeper into genome mining tools and to how to clone express in other hosts, uh, how to manage metagenomic libraries and how to engineer, engineer these strains to manage to get the scale of production of the targeted compound of, of interest. And finally, just, uh, just to go as well into microbial culturing, uh, just to, to how to handle liquid and solid stage fermentations, scale up and optimize the, the conditions. So all these uh, process, is helping to get a, a deep insight uh, into, into what we are performing from the perspective of uh, natural products microbiology. And related to that, we are also uh, proposing different uh, TFM uh, pro projects just to be developed by, by the students in the lab. Uh, more, some of them related with the symbio activities in the sense that we are just targeting and, and mutagenizing uh, just the, the biosynthetic gene pathways, uh, gene pathways in, the, in the strains from, from different approaches. These are just uh, selected uh, candidate strains of high interest regarding the compounds that they are producing with bioactivity. And at the same time, just to managing to get uh, these pathways uh, being cloned, expressed and engineered, just to manage to get potential analog molecules and, and, and then also to, to show that these molecules can be produced in other, in other hosts. From the perspective of microbial diversity, we are just focusing on characterizing communities of actinobacteria from different environments. This can be plant rhizospheres, lichens. We are working at this moment in different projects and perform diversity analysis, genome sequencing, metabolite expression, and identification of, of different bioactive molecules. All, many of these, these activities are being performed in partnership as well with the other departments. So in this sense, so most of our projects are, are uh, horizontal and, and multidisciplinary in the, in the center. If we go to the, to the high throughput screening and, and target validation department that is really in charge of all the screening campaigns that we are developing, but also miniaturizing all the assays, validating the target that we are using, and later on going into the mode of action of the compounds that we are in identifying uh, by, at the end of the, of the process. So all these activities, as you can see, are being performed in a setup that is highly automated with a lot of robotic stations. And this is the type of activities that are also being presented to, to, the, to the students as part of the, of the teaching that is being done during, during the master. So the topics that are covered just include such approaches in terms of, of screening with phenotypic and target based assays, especially with, with natural products, which are most targeting. Uh, technologies such as protein-protein uh, -protein interaction and cell-based assays, uh, just uh, including different type of, of reporters, uh, as well as a later stage also, all these activities develop, uh, related with drug development and preclinical safety, 
also to assess the admin and the drug interaction of, the, of the new compounds, toxicity, including toxicity and other animal studies. And at the end, to go into the in vivo efficacy uh, assessment of the pharmacokinetics and the bioanalysis of the compounds in the in vivo, in vivo animal models. At the end, this is also offering a global approach to the automation process within the HTS framework, and also the image analysis uh, that uh, is also being performed for many of the phenotype assays. So all these topic coverage are also being parallel, but different lab training where the students, as well as in the other modules, are also just exposed to, to performing different type of assays uh, according to the, to, the, to the teaching that has been done uh, during, during this period. And aligned with these, these activities, uh, the, 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 the team also led by, by Carmen Ramos and Francisco, Francisco Castillo are proposing just to develop a, a project uh, related with the drug discovery in cancer. They are doing and the development of the uh, spheroid, the, the 3D cultures that are being performed in the, in the lab and also compare the, 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 the outputs that are being obtained uh, from the data that we have obtained in the 2D uh, monolayer, monolayer set cultures and also reproduce that in the, in the three cultures. So in this sense, uh, using these uh, high content screening uh, bioimaging uh, systems we, that are helping us just to assess the behavior of the compounds of these uh, spheroid cultures from, from cancer cells. The, uh, the project is, is uh, based on the previous uh, tumor candidates that have been identified in our internal programs. And we are proposing to the, to the students just to optimize the, the 3D model to be used in an automated uh, screening based uh, format uh, using high content bioimaging with many different types of tumor cells. And later on, also just to, to test the candidates from the uh, 2D screening into, into these models. So this is the overall the, the project that is produced for those interested in going deeper into the, this, this, field, uh, this field of uh, expertise and mostly related with, uh, with cancer cultures. And finally, the, the, the third uh, um, part of the activities that we are performing are very, very much focused on the natural product chemistry that are being developed in the chemistry, in the chemistry platform, where all the isolation of, of natural products, so the, all the analytics uh, that has been performed to, to identify, the replicate, and confirm the, the, structural, uh, the, the, the structure and elucidate the structure of the molecules that are being discovered during the process is, is, uh, is ongoing. So with the technologies that we have in the center, as part of the, of the teaching within the master, uh, we are proposing, and, and Ruben will be leading this, this part from, uh, and also the, the TFM that will be developed um, for, the, for the students. The topics include all the process from the uh, extract generation and the compact management uh, of, the, of the libraries to all the assessment of the diversity of the natural products libraries that we have through metabolomics technologies engaged into the fractionation and secondary metabolite purification, mass spectrometry, identification, and use of nat uh, NMR in, in natural products, uh, uh, structural oxidation. And later on, also just to, to go uh, some insight into the how to the structural activity relationship can be established and the path for, for medicinal chemistry improvement of the molecules related to the, the activity. So uh, aligned with these, uh, these activities, the, the, the projects will be related, of course, to go deeper into the study of uh, the metabolomic diversity, uh, metabolomic assessment of the diversity of the secondary metabolites produced by different type of producers that can be or fungi or, or bacteria, where we can just uh, learn how to manage and set up all these uh, differential, differential traces, maps, and charts of uh, secondary metabolites and learn how to apply that to mine for the specific compounds that can be identified in these complex uh, mixtures. On top of that, of course, the, the, the training and, the, and the, the project will be involving how to isolate these secondary metabolites and go through all the process to obtain the pure compound. Later on, complemented, of course, with the structural oxidation that will be engaging into all the generation of all the spectra and later on, 
uh, initial insight in the in the identification and, and elucidation of the structure of the molecules based on the, on all this data. So at the end, it's just uh, providing providing the student all the assets to to be engaged in the in the performance of all these activities in the in the chemistry department. So uh, with that, I, I would like to, to thank you. Uh, we will be really happy to, to answer any, any questions related to the training programs that we would perform and also to the, uh, to the projects that we are proposing to the students. Uh, we, uh, we are looking for very, very uh, interested candidates that could be really uh, happy to, to work in the natural product field and also to expand their knowledge into, into these areas. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, eh, Olga, for such a wonderful presentation with so much details. And I think that they give a lot of opportunities to, to the students. Eh, so I ask to them if they have any question, feel free to, to ask now or later, eh, or even through the chat, whatever is, is more convenient for you. Uh, or any comments? Uh, so do you understand how many positions, for instance, I have? Uh, so the master's student project uh, will be like how many, Olga? Because we have uh, uh, the natural product chemistry, we have the, no, the possibilities. So how there are three things? different major projects different. and one per, per, per module. So, mm -hmm. and different options, of course, of, uh, of projects, uh, depending on the, on the uh, preferences of the, of the student. Wonderful. So any comments, Antonio, that I see you here? <laughs> yes, uh, I would like to make a, a general comment at the end of all of the presentation, but uh, either we have the possibility, yes, to participate right now, just to say that for me, it's, it's our proud to count with uh, Medina, because uh, all of the, uh, uh, the years from the very beginning, we started in, in the master, has been a, a strong cooperation and the results are fantastic. So I encourage the student to, to choose for this company, the same than from Destina or Clover or the other, but in the case of Medina, you have the, the connection, which is special just with the drug development, which is something which is unique because this is the only one in, in this area and probably in Andalusia. So it, it's a good opportunity for students. Thank you, Olga, for your presentation. Pleasure, uh, pleasure to be here and, today. And Thank Ruben you. And, and Fernando, that uh, I can see you in the <laughs> in the screen. So thank you very much to all of you. Uh, so much for for this nice presentation. And now we have a uh, Juan uh, Juan Jodiat for Destina Genomics that is going to to explain also this wonderful company that we have here also in, at PTS Granada. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, so thank you very much for, uh, for the presentation and to give us the opportunity to present Destiny to the students. As Antonio said, we have a long time collaboration with uh, the master and we have, uh, you know, uh, a couple of uh, full-time employees at Destiny who came to this master. So we know that uh, um, it is, uh, um, a very good opportunity for all the students to participate in it. Um, having said that, I'd like to introduce you Destina. Destina, as you are seen there, uh, we are a, a company which um, is, of, um, is focused on uh, molecular assays. So we have developed a new fundamental chemistry for detecting nucleic acid in general, in particular RNA. Uh, I'll present you a little bit now. Uh, we are focusing on liquid biopsies, uh, circulating RNAs, um, and one of the first assays that we have is the liberase assay. Um, uh, so I, I'd like to share my screen and introduce you a little bit the company, if that is possible, Lourdes. Uh, sure, I'm going to give. Yeah. Okay. You are co-host, so you probably yeah. Uh, yes, we are seeing your screen. Okay. Do you see the full screen? Yes, right now. Yes. Perfect. Right. 
And so, as I said, Destin is a company which was started in, in Edinburgh, in Scotland, uh, 10 years ago. Uh, was founded by Hugh Ilian and myself. And in 2012, we created a subsidiary here in Spain, which is currently, um, which is still alive after so many years, which is good. Uh, as I said, we are focused on molecular tests and in particular for life sciences. We are looking at the research only market. Um, and basically, uh, at the moment, we are 12 full time employees here in Granada. And in Granada, we have uh, developed all the RD and service units of the company. And actually, um, we are working to, bring, to consolidate the whole company here in Spain, in Granada moving all the assets from uh, the UK to Spain for several reasons, but we believe here is a good place to, to expand and to increase our presence in the global market. So I, I'd like to just give you a small video of uh, the Destina technology, as I said, is a new fundamental chemistry. So when everyone think of nucleic acid tests, everyone think of uh, PCR. Uh, so what we came up with was a new way of detecting um, um, nucleic acid. And as I said, we are focusing on, on macroRNAs and RNAs in general. And this video will show you um, a cartoon about the technology. So I'll, I'll play it and after it's just uh, 80 seconds or so, so we, I, I'll, I'll, get up. I'll get with you when we finish here. In recent years, circulating miRNAs have been proposed as potential biomarkers in several human diseases. Clinical tests based on miRNAs are not yet implemented due to limitations with existing detection methods. ChemaRNA Tech combines the staple tech buffer, DGL Pro, and SmartBase to carry out a novel chemical approach for miRNAs testing, overcoming existing challenges. Our stable tech buffer allows to liberate and stabilize miRNAs in body fluids. DGL probes are PNA oligos with a unique plate position. The smart base contains a reactive chemical group and a biotin tag. DGL probe hybridizes its complementary miRNA sequence, creating a chemical pocket position. Smart base is rapidly incorporated into the pocket through a reversible chemical reaction and locked in chemically. The biotin is then recognized by a water molecule and read out by a detection system. RNA tech can be successfully used on major detection systems, enabling fast, reliable, and inexpensive direct and absolute quantification of miRNAs. So yeah, then this is our chemistry. So basically, we use uh, we can do a, a absolute quantification of nucleic acid without the need to define them, and uh, this is based on um, this uh, intellectual property portfolio that Destina have, uh, which has been developed uh, initially and also during the uh, uh, the, the latest year here in Spain. Um, so we we can consider to be the ink of printer. So basically, we are uh, like capable of being implemented in multiple platforms as we've been doing so far. So this is the IP, which is really important to build up companies. Uh, uh, biotech companies are built based on IP mostly because it's the, the only asset that you get at the very beginning. And uh, that offers us to do the stabilization of RNA, which you know is, is pretty lava molecule. We can do absolute and reproducible quantification, something with PCR is always relative with the CP values, which you never know how many uh, molecules you have there. We can do directly from the matrix without extraction. It's not needed even the transcription to convert the RNA into cDNA. Uh, we uh, work with protocol, which has equivalent to any immunoassay protocol, at least a type of assays. Uh, we can develop uh, multiple assays for different targets. Uh, the technology is a thermodynamically based at, um, chemistry, so it, does, it cannot get false positive. And at the minute, we are also working on detecting simultaneously protein and um, RNAs. 
So basically what we have here is just trying to get a kind of a common method which gives you an idea about RNAs that you're there with the CD value, delta CD value, to log whatever that they do to, to kind of give a quantification of, of the RNAs. And what we bring is a, a digital picture of, of uh, the, the, the RNAs that we have circulating. So counting more is very important for us. And we believe that can give you can give another um, uh, another way of, of looking at RNA assay rather than to say yes no. Um, so the first assay that we have developed successfully is the assay to detect macroRNA one to two, which is a liver specific macroRNA. Um, we have now this assay um, uh, available, and there are pharmaceutical companies working at the minute in the preclinical phases because this macroRNA can be used to detect um, uh, new drugs or new small molecule or large molecules to start being developed as new drugs uh, in all the phases. So in, in vitro, we're working with companies who've got a CD um, um, liver organoids, uh, which are they are using to, to, to as the first screening to look liver toxicity of drugs. Uh, small animal, we also are working with companies with small animal, medium animals, and then we hope to bring into the clinical phases. So this microRNA and this heat, uh, this assay can be used in all the drug development uh, phase. Um, so how our company work? Uh, so we have um, a business model which is a scalable and uh, it leverage uh, different revenue streams. So we, what we do basically is to develop service to customer to develop their own assays. We then do license and supply agreement with um, um, with ultra sensitive platform provider. Uh, so at the minute we have agreement with Luminex, uh, we have agreement with Quantex. Just recently we closed an agreement agreement with a Spanish company called Megwins, which got a very powerful platform to for doing immune assays. So we give license to them so they can. Uh, offered to that customer not just protein uh, immune assays but also uh, RNA assays. Uh, we commercialize either directly or through licenses, as I said earlier. And then we get, you know, through this service agreement, we get the cycle which could get new product and uh, license agreements and again uh, commercialization. So this is uh, how uh, we get our revenue stream. Then is the license and supply agreements, the product that we are selling at the minute. And then also the, the services uh, and grants, of course, which are important to uh, to do more R and D. So with with that, then the company have three departments, which are the asset development department, the chemistry department, and then the commercial department. Apart from the admin and finance department, and one of the important things uh, here is to look for project management. Of course, it's very important in terms of project management and how. Um, and applied for grants uh, which support the, the company strategy. So this is an area which we've been working successfully in the past, uh, uh, since we are here in Spain in terms of um, uh, European grants mainly, and also working with um, partners which we can develop these uh, collaboration agreements initially to then become a licensing agreement. So we are looking for people who could be working in that area, uh, which means um, have um, uh, knowledge about uh, uh, molecular testing, who have a uh, high level of interest to, to write up and to communicate with our partners and uh, to be part of this uh, company, which um, uh, we believe it could get in 2020 to a, a big push into the to become a, a reference into the for for RNA detection. Um, we are the minute we are engaged in a uh, in a round in a in a round to fund the company to, to get a capital increase in the company, which uh, would be used here in Granada to increase our capacities of manufacturing and, and services and to increase our commercial team. So there's opportunity here to be part of a company which is going to grow uh, importantly in the, in, the coming, in the coming years. And as I say, we are looking for people who would be 
uh, we'll be looking at uh, working on the project management and, and joint application, which is a big part of the company, as you can see there. So I think with that, I'll, um, I'll finish my, my presentation. And if uh, any of you have any questions, you just can uh, ask me now or email me later or whatever rule best to decide if the, the good moment. Thank you so much, Juanco. Wonderful presentation, very nice uh, with a lot of details. And it's wonderful no, to have these companies here in the park because it's, it, this is, means a more GDP, more employment. So this is wonderful news. So if you have any question, feel free to use your mic directly to ask or through the chat, whatever is more convenient for you but ask please, because it's a great opportunity and you have wonderful people here that can answer any question that you might have. Hello, Juanjo, good, good morning, how are you? Hola, uh, well, Antonio. Uh, just to, to thank you for your cooperation as uh, the other years and from the beginning, like Medina. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if I understood quite well. You offer just one position, right? Yeah, at, at the minute, as I say, uh, we are in the process of uh, of and you know increase our capacities, but still, uh, you know, we are located now at big, and there is not a lot of room because we internally we have got quite a lot to uh, to offer the services and product development and site development. So, um, I mean, at this moment in time, we we can commit to that position. Uh, it could be possible, you know. In, in, I see, in, I see. Uh, so, but uh, in any case, uh, I think it's, it is always possible, not just to get in contact, not just with the project management, uh, but also with the, the activities that you are de developing in your labs. Because uh, yeah. even if you are not working directly, but uh, it's an opportunity for many students just to, to see how you develop these new yeah. things. Even if the, the main subject of the, the TFM is just to, to work in project management, yeah, but uh, both things sometimes can be not ex excluded, no? Absolutely, yeah, you're right. I mean, once that position is open, uh, could get a bit of everything. Uh, you know, we have Barbara Lopez, who, who is now a key person in our team, who started with project management and now is the uh, one of the uh, leader in the asset development phase. So she's developed the asset with Quantetic, she's developed the, the assay, which is commercially now, we are selling now. So, and she did the project uh, for the project management. But of course, you know, it is a way of uh, getting involved in the company and the project management is a good position because you, you have to read and you have to build that project collaboration and uh, contact, which is always useful as a training. And at the same time, you need to learn the technology. And of course, you are there to look at things, you know, might not have a full uh, experimental type of project, but you can still, you need to, to look at how things are done and you have a full idea about how, how uh, you know, uh, an RMD project is also executed. Yeah. Okay. So that's absolutely clear, crystal clear. Um, well, I, I would like just to, to, to say to the, the rest of the attendants to this meeting that uh, I, I remember the time you started with the company uh, because this company started with, with Juanjo and then they moved to Edinburgh and then they, they created all of the things now you have seen. So uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a time frame which is very short because it it is, we are talking about 10 years, no more, no? Yeah, we were here 2012. We started operation here in Canada 2013. Yeah, I mean, uh, biotech is always longer than you would be speaking to people uh, investing in digital. It would be very long time. <laughs> but biotech, uh, you have to be in for the long yeah. time. Yeah, but what I would like to stress is that uh, because of your effort in, in developing the company and you believe that uh, it is possible to develop a company, even here in Granada, establishing the, the, the agreements and you know all of these things, but, but it's a good example of how to create an enterprise from zero and in uh -huh. a very short time. So 
it's a good example for for the students if they want to, to to do something similar so yeah, absolutely um, I mean, it is you know it is not uh, straightforward but uh, if you get a good technology and you look for the opportunities and, and you know get, uh, we have at best you know we have been yeah. patient uh, persistent and professional and uh, so you keep your patient when times are a bit difficult and you are persistent to ask people again and again and again and you work professionally um, you know i don't say every time but you have good chances to do something out so you know it's a beautiful place to to be to be honest i mean we have our team with um, people from outside of spain you know we, we have uh, who, who was Australian, you know, and, and uh, so we have our chairman who is English. So it's, you know, it is okay. I might have started being here, yeah. but once it's here, we have all the conditions to become a global company. Okay, so um, that's uh, just to finish. Uh, I mean, the, to offer a project management position is is a, is a big opportunity because uh, you know. Uh, when you're starting in the enterprises and, and you try to develop an enterprise, you discover that uh, there is not only science, you only need a lot of more, more things and a skill. And it's difficult to, to find a place in where you can learn about this. So thank you very much, Juanjo, for your no problem. Thank you, Antonio. Oh, okay. So hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity of collaboration again with the Nostra students. Uh, I am Gemma Mendez and I work as a software developer in Proverbio Analytica Software, which is a company placed here at Granada at the PTS. Uh, I'm going to do a short introduction of Clover. Uh, so we are a bioinformatics company specialized in data processing using artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, algorithms for performing research on bacterial analysis applications using mass spectrometry data. Uh, our main project is the development of a clinical diagnostic software for antibiotic resistance analysis, where we can also perform biomarker discovery and we can apply some of the main classification algorithms of machine learning. Uh, for developing the software, we have collaborated with multiple universities and hospitals from Spain and also from other countries of Europe. Um, we can admit up to three master students for doing the, the project with us, and we are open for them to, to give us an idea of what, what, what they want to, to develop. Uh, they can perform a bioinformatics module for our clinical diagnosis software that I have just explained, or they can use the software for performing a, a bacteria research projects or any idea that they, they, that they still may have. Um, um, that's, if you have any questions? So thank you so much, all of you. Antonio, thank you for your support. Uh, we need to know also now to do techniques and all the things, technical things. So what I was saying that is, is these two companies and this foundation are amazing training opportunities for you, for your uh, future development and your career uh, development. So um, take a look of the website, study, prepare well, um, you will have a wonderful opportunity.